Welcome to the Mango Monkey Show, where we talk about personal finance, investing, and building wealth. In today's episode of the show, I will share with you what I think about whether it is a good idea to get a loan for your business. I will explore the different things you should consider and the different finance options which are available in the market in Australia. If this sounds good to you, please continue and don't forget to absolutely destroy that like button at this point. For me to obtain a loan for my business or to start a business, I would want to make sure that my business is profitable. After all, if it is losing money, I will be better off closing it down. If the probability of being profitable is only 50%, I would rather not start or expand a business with a loan. I would save up until I have enough cash to start the venture completely with my own money. This is because the interest rate on a loan quickly adds up. For example, if I borrow $10,000 and the interest rate is 20%, in one year I will need to pay $12,000. But if I cannot pay it back within one year, and I only pay that after two years, I will need to pay $14,400. If I cannot pay it back until five years later, I will need to pay back around $25,000. This also assumes the lender does not charge me any late payment fee. This is called the power of compounding. Like how coronavirus spreads extremely quickly with only a handful of cases, interest charges multiply very quickly due to the power of compounding, especially if the interest rate is high. If the interest rate is high, the R0, the basic reproductive number, is very high. The only time I will access funding to fund my business is if I can get low-cost funding, for example, through my home loan or my investment property loan. Ideally, it's going to be my investment property because then I can sell the investment property if my business does not do well and I cannot pay back the loan with my income. I want my loan to be from either my home loan or my investment property loan because I want to access a 30-year loan term with a low interest rate of between 2% and 3% per annum. This way, the interest charges will multiply very slowly like a snail. I will feel comfortable taking a risk, and if my business does not end up being profitable, I will be able to sell my business and sell my property to pay off the debt. My decision may be a little bit different if I need more money to run an existing business. Here, I'm not talking about expansion, opening a new store, coming up with a new product, nothing like that. I'm talking about paying my everyday business expenses, paying my employees and my suppliers so that I can sell more of the same thing I have always been selling. And I know exactly how much the profitability is. If I need money to pay my employees and suppliers, I will be more inclined to take up a business loan, even if the interest rate is high. In Australia at the moment, there is a finance product called Unsecured Business Loan, which is also called a short-term business loan, or as I would like to call it, a payday business loan, because the loan is often funded within 24 hours. This is a fully amortizing loan, which is usually paid off within one year, with the repayment being made weekly. Interest rate is usually between 20% and 50%, but because I paid that loan down quickly, the interest charge is approximately half of the interest rate. So if I borrow $10,000 and the interest rate is 20%, I only pay approximately $1,000 in interest charges instead of $2,000. If the profit margin on my product is more than 10%, then I will be making money. What's more, with the same money I obtained from this loan, I can recycle it several times to sell more and more products because I know that my inventory cycle is less than one year. Now, if I need more money than my average monthly sales turnover, usually the lender will want to have some kind of security for the loan that they are providing to me. This is typically a piece of property, a piece of real estate. There is a type of business loan which is often called a private loan. 
the interest rate on a private loan is typically between 15% and 24% per annum. The loan usually sits on top of your home loan or investment property loan as a second mortgage. It enables you to obtain a massive amount of loan as long as there is a good equity in your property. Your sales and offer and your business cash flow are not that critical to the lender. This type of business loan usually runs for one year. You do not need to pay anything during that one year, but you need to pay off the loan completely in one go at the one year mark. So you need to be able to forecast your cash flow accurately to make sure you have enough money after one year. If you don't have enough money, then what you can do is you can sell your property to pay off the loan. Another type of finance product which is often used in the market is what's called an invoice finance or debtor finance. This finance product works a little bit differently compared to the products mentioned previously. Invoice finance is where the finance company gives you money based on an invoice already issued to your customer. And in turn, your customer then pays the finance company a little further down the track. This is really useful if your customer is a large corporation, which often takes one month, two months or three months to pay you. So instead of waiting one, two or three months, you can get the money today from the finance company. The finance company will charge a fee, which can be between 2% and 5% of the value of your invoice. You can choose to finance all of your invoices or only those invoices where you know your customer will take ages and ages to pay. One drawback with this finance product is that your customer will know that you are using an invoice finance facility. It is a common tool used in business, but you never know there is a possibility that it will weaken your bargaining power when you negotiate prices and terms with your customer. Your customer must also be a large company because the finance company essentially relies on the credibility of your customer to make sure that they eventually get paid. Your own trading history and how much money you make are often not that critical. The benefit of this type of finance product is that the ongoing interest rate should your customer take forever and ever to pay the invoice is usually quite reasonable. Therefore, your debt does not snowball like crazy due to factors beyond your control. As long as the drawdown fee is much smaller than your profit margin, you should be making money. If you are still here, please comment below if you have used any of the funding facilities that are mentioned in this video. Let me know if you agree with me about how I decide whether to obtain business finance or not. I make a bunch of videos on personal finance, investing and building wealth. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, I appreciate if you can subscribe now to help me grow my channel. And of course, you do not want to miss my videos, right?